What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, hey, come here. And you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Give me just a second, I'm gonna get my cat some coffee. Okay, sorry. Okay. So this is a free general collective reading. Caps to side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. I received a channel message in, so I'm going to deliver it. I know it's 1.13 a.m. on 2022, but we're doing it. Um, it's, out, it's for at least four of you guys out there. It might be for more. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, the channel message I received was, a Sag, uh, a Sag and Aries, a Pisces, and there was another one. Sag, Aries, Pisces. Hold on, I got to think of the fourth one. Libra. That was it. Sag, Aries, Pisces, and Libra is about to find out that they're in a third party um, situation soon. They're about to get um, very pissed. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, Sag, Aries, Pisces, Libra, and Energy. Um, you can be masculine or feminine. Um, I didn't hear if it was masculine or femme, so I'm assuming you could be masculine or femme. Um, you can have Sag, Aries, Pisces, or Libra in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Ben, Hammer, Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. Um, Third-party energy. Now, whoever this is for, I'm assuming this is not polyamorous relationship or open marriage or something of that nature. I can never do polyamorous relationships or open marriages for me personally. That's why I've chosen to remain legally single for forever um but some people like the open marriage thing they like the polyamorous lifestyle i know people like that i don't judge it i can never do it um but whoever you're for uh whoever you are um i'm assuming you do not agree or like the open marriage concept or the polyamorous lifestyle so you plug it in how it resonates um you can have sag libra Aries or Sag, Aries, Libra, in. There was another one. Hold on. Sag, Aries, Libra, and. Um, oh my God, I have a brain fart. Sag, Aries, Libra. I forgot the I forgot the fourth one. Sag, Aries, Libra, and there was another one. Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, you can have Sag, Aries, Libra, or Pisces in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, it resonates. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to happen. Um, it's about to happen. Uh, but you plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates for you. Because I heard you're about to find out. You're about to find out. So whoever you, uh, whoever you are, masculine or femme, Sag, Aries, Pisces, or Libra, um, it's, you haven't found out yet. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, we have wake up call on the bottom of the deck. Huge wake up calls are about to come. For some, you never thought this person would do this to you, but you're about to get confirmation in the 3D universe. That it is for sure going on. Some text, some video camera footage. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Some text, some video camera footage. So, whoever you are, Sag, Aries, Pisces, or Libra, um, I heard you never thought that it would happen to you, basically. You never thought this person would do this to you. Whoever you are, I think you value monogamous relationships and you don't, you aren't into the open marriage or polyamorous lifestyle. Uh, I think you're monogamous or want to be monogamous and you like it, just the two of you. Um, just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Oh, just saying. Um, that's the song I think of, but you plug it in how it resonates. But 
you never thought your partner would do this, basically. You never thought your partner would do this if this resonates for you. Um, but some of them you're about to find proof that they are through some text messages. So I'm thinking it might be your partner's phone um, text messages. Um, I don't think they would, um, I don't think they obviously would leave proof and evidence on your phone. Just saying. So I think you might start snooping through somebody's phone or you already have. Uh, and some is through video camera footage. Now, video camera footage. I mean, there's home cameras. Um, so it could be your own home or their home if y'all are not living together. I uh, feel for whoever this is for. You probably are living together. I feel it's a committed relationship. But, you know, you can date and be committed and not live together. Um, I'm single as a Pringle. And if I ever dated anybody... We'd be dating for a long ass time before we ever lived together. And I'm just being for real, for real. And I'm serious about that. So, but everybody's different. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. I feel for a lot of you guys, you probably are living together. Um, I'm serious. But some kind of video camera footage, whether it's their home, your home, some kind of public space, but some kind of video camera footage. I feel that could go home route or public space route. How that resonates. But wake up call energy via text message. Um, proof or video camera footage however that plugs in one's life um yikes experiments this year i plugged it Excuse me. Excuse me. Holy crap. Woo. Okay, so effortless, upright, focus, reverse is what we have. Let me see if I hear anything. Some you're about to find items of another person of the same sex in your home. It's going to piss you off in a huge way. Oh, shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so whoever that's for, I heard some you're going to find items of somebody of the same sex in your home and it's going to piss you off in a huge way. So either text video camera footage or some kind of items of somebody of the same sex in your home. Now, whoever this is for, I feel like you go homosexual or heterosexual relationship, but for the ones with the items of the same sex in their home, I feel it's a heterosexual relationship because if you were in a homosexual relationship and you found items of the same sex in your home, I don't think it would really alert you unless it was like really strange items <laughs> that obviously are not yours or your partner's. So you plug it in how it resonates. Like I said, I feel like you can go homosexual or heterosexual, but you have to um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, but the message uh, for the same items of the same sex that aren't yours, I feel you're in a heterosexual relation, um, heterosexual relationship. And I'm just being serious. It's probably the other man or the other woman. So effortless. They're doing it very effortlessly. Um, I feel they have no compassion, remorse, or et cetera, et cetera. Because their ass hadn't got caught yet. But they're about to get caught. And it's by you. So they've been doing it very effortlessly. I heard whoever this is for. Aries, Pisces, Sag, or Libra. Um, you never thought they would do it to you. But of course, don't we all ever think that our partners are never going to do it to us until they do it to us. And why do you think I've been legally single for so damn long? I'm serious, y'all. There's a reason I've been divorced for forever. Just saying. Everless. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. So you're getting a huge wake up call about this or something. You're getting a huge wake up call about something. Uh, and focus reversed.
I didn't hear anything. But I'm thinking with focus reversed, you're going to be probably beside yourself when you find the text, the video camera footage, or the items of the same sex that obviously you're not yours. Um, you're going to be, uh, your intuition's been off, um, and you have not really been paying attention to the signs, I'm presuming. Um, I feel your intuition's been off. You haven't been paying attention to the signs. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I believe you probably wanted to believe the best in this person, um, whoever this is um, that you're with, partner-wise, right now. Um, but you're about to get a huge wake-up call, which we had a wake-up call in here, energy in here earlier, that obviously you're about to see things for what they really are. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Ooh, we, this is strong. Confirmation from my intuitive kitty, by the way. Yeah, fat boy's eating. Okay. And a particular Scorpio is going to try to weasel their way, Scorpio masculine, weasel their way into a Leo feminine's life soon. They're going to get the police called on them. Know this. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Well, that's unrelated to this. Oh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Confirmation. Come on. Come on, buddy. A particular Scorpio masculine I heard is going to try to weasel their way into a Leo Finn's life, um, but I heard it's not going to work. They'll get the police called on, on them. So you might be the Leo Finn. They're going to try to weasel their way back. It sounds like back into uh, their, their life. Whoever this is, Leo Finn, whoever you are, this Scorpio masculine knows you. They know you. Um, weasel their way back into your life doesn't sound like it was ever a healthy relationship to begin with. So if you, this is for you, Leo fam. Hopefully this is a heads up because this hasn't happened yet either, it sounds like. Um, I would be aware because uh, he sounds very low vibrational. Very freaking low vibrational. Um, I know. Nay, nay. Not for me. Of course, you know, everybody has free will and you can make your own decision, Leo fam, if this is for you. But I'm a Leo Femme too. And there's hell to the his no um, of nobody, nobody, I mean, nobody trying to come in my life in a romantical sense. And that's just me though. I can't speak on all the Leo Femmes in the universe because I'm not everybody. I'm just me. Um, but that's for at least one Leo Femme out there dealing with the Scorpio masculine of your past. Um, whoever you are, Leo Femme, heard he's going to try to weasel his way back into your life. Please be careful. Please. Please be careful, okay? Um, whoever you are. Um, please be careful because he sounds very low vibrational. Very. Um, and whoever you are, Leo Fim, it sounds like you moved on. It sounds like you moved on. Um, so why would you allow any low vibrational anybody back into your life? Um, but you have the free will to do what you want to do. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. And namaste.